A woman has been buried for about four and a half hours there. And right now, firefighters and recovery crews are still out at the scene working at Fort Funson in San Francisco. And it's tough to see much activity because it's so dark out on the beach, but they have called in heavy equipment and cadaver dogs to assist with the operation. Here's a closer look now at the section that collapsed. You can see the huge chunk that broke loose falling right there onto the beach below. And we're talking thousands and thousands of tons of dirt. We have team coverage from Fort Funston beginning now with KPX 5's Betty Yu, who has new information about the victim. Betty? Veronica, we just learned from San Francisco Fire that this woman is in her 20s and they are speaking with the other woman who survived this cliff collapse to learn more information. Now, right now, there is still a very extensive recovery operation with firefighters, with the assistance of cadaver dogs and also the U.S. Park Police and U.S. Park Rangers to recover this body that is trapped under all that dirt. Now, earlier, firefighters, as we saw, from Chopper 5 were on their hands and knees using shovels and other equipment to try and find this victim, but unfortunately, it just was not successful. Also, search dogs were brought in and they pointed to the northern part of this landslide, but still crews could not find this body. Firefighters tell me that this woman presumably has suffocated. I just spoke with Lieutenant Jonathan Baxter with San Francisco Fire. Take a listen. Uh, we have the sand that's very dense, it's cracking. There's a lot of concerns in the dark, even with our, our high-powered lights, that this becomes a hazard to our firefighters and the likelihood that this individual um, has a chance of survival after three hours um, under this is very unlikely, unfortunately. And we just learned also from San Francisco Fire that based on more witness accounts, they believe that these two women were at the lower base of the cliff where the ocean meets the cliff, and that is where this collapse happened. Again, they are still learning more details about all of this as a very extensive and calculated recovery operation, not rescue, but recovery operation continues well into the night. Veronica and Ken. So uh, we were told earlier that maybe they were up on top of that cliff and that the ground gave way. But now you're saying the information from witnesses is they were actually down along the beach area and uh, it, it suddenly gave way and, and buried them both. Is that what we're hearing? That is correct, Ken. So San Francisco Fire, they're talking with a number of witnesses and that is the latest information that we have, that they were at the base of this cliff and it gave way on top of them. There were two women. One of them was pulled out, luckily, by bystanders, and she is doing okay. Unfortunately, the other woman has not been located. Ken? Wow, amazing. All right, Betty you reporting live from the scene. Thank you, Betty. This is, of course, a, a very popular spot for dog walkers and hikers down there on the beach and up above at Fort Funson. Uh, the warnings about the unstable cliffs are, are virtually everywhere. Um, add to that a number of big storms recently, a lot of loose soil, soil that's impacted with water, and you have recipe for disaster. KPX 5's Andrea Borba continues our live team coverage. She has that part of the story for us. Andrea? Well, Ken and Veronica, there are, as you said, signs all over Fort Funston here warning people to stay away from the edges of the cliffs here. They're, we're talking about some very soft soils here at Fort Funston, and coastal erosion has been a constant problem. In fact, one that the U.S. Geological Survey has been studying extensively for at least the past three years at this point. Now, a short time ago, we spoke with a landslide expert from UC Berkeley's Environmental Science Department by the name of Roland Bergman. Here's what he had to say. When we have these big rainstorms, they saturate the ground and that weakens uh, the soils and rocks. And clearly what happened today was directly in response to this rainfall. Now, of course, this part of Fort Funston is very popular with dog walkers and people looking to exercise. Now, there are lots of signs warning to stay away from the cliffs, as we have said. Most people are aware of the danger at the top, but not necessarily at the bottom. I've been down there many times, you know, just walking, and, you know, I actually never realized that it could be. I was more always afraid to fall down when I was, like, you know, trying to get closer to the cliff. It's beautiful, but I never realized it could 
be dangerous just walking on it. <laughs> earliest stages, my photographer and I were up on top of one of the cliffs taking a look down on the beach. There were still plenty of people walking along the beach with their dogs, seemingly unaware of what had happened just a short while ago from them. Ken, Veronica, back to you. All right, Andre, we appreciate it. Thanks. Of course, we'll be staying on top of this story uh, and we invite you to stay with KPIX 5 and KPIX.com.